Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Triple L with Deb. It's all about love, life, and living. And today, we're going to have pancake battered fish. Oh yeah, I love seafood. Seafood is pretty much good anytime for appetizer, entree, or even for a snack. Yes, and you know what else too? Seafood makes you almost acquire within yourself your own ingredients. Yes, have you ever thought about that? Let's see. A dash of conversation, a little shoulder shaking for laughter, a little arm waving for joy, and last but not least, a little lip smacking for satisfaction. Okay guys, so let's go ahead, let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just damp some of our fish to make sure that it's not too wet. That way the moisture won't feel like it's crummy on it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do first, all right? So I use about a pound of fish as well. And this is whiting if you wanna know. This is not bone, but you can use bone in if you prefer. All right guys, so now I've taken some of the water from off my fish. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the pancake mix, about half of the mix, inside with the fish and we're just gonna go ahead and batter them up okay next I went ahead and I beat my one egg and I'm gonna add three excuse me I'm gonna add two-thirds cup of water and the remaining of my pancake mixture and one thing about the fish guys is that you want to go ahead and try to get it into work into your mixture as soon as possible because you know the moisture sits in the fish and then it has a uh, it starts to feel like it's crumbly so let's try to go ahead and get that in as soon as possible. It's only like a one step mixture, so it shouldn't take you that long. And if you want to go ahead and season your fish, you can. I just added a little salt, as I said earlier. Okay, I've stirred in my mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and add my two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna stir it up again. I'm gonna go ahead, and now we're gonna put our fish fish inside of our batter and I'm just going to pour that in okay I'm just going to toss it around again before I put it inside the mixture as you see you just have to make sure you start working with it pretty fast okay so let's just lay it inside the mixture we have here all right all right guys and let's put it to the side and you just repeat these steps okay guys so I'm going to finish it off with some more of the Remain of the dry mixture that I had. You see that it's moist now. And remember too, guys, you need to make sure that you move kind of quickly with this. And the reason why I say it because it gets very sticky and gooey. And I've had to wash my gloves like several times. And now I'm just to absorb some of the mixture. If you want to add some more pancake batter, just a dry mix, you can do so. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and drop it in our grease. Hi right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and drop this inside our grease. And we can let it cook for about four minutes. And you might want to watch the size of your fish too. So you might want to cook it maybe a little bit longer, but not too long. We don't want it to get hardened or burn. All right. All right. We have a last batch in, and it's about two or three that I have left over. Okay, some of the tips I want to let you know, guys. If you don't have a deep, deep fry for your fish, uh, you will want to turn them over in about, say, three minutes and then let it cook one minute on the other side. Number two, use your ingredients. The ingredients I'm telling you uh, that I use work for me in the amount of fish that I had, but it also depends on the size of your fish. So you may have to add uh, a, probably a little bit more of just a dry pancake mix because you're gonna want to um, uh, batter with the pancake mix after you put a little salt seasoning on it or salt season doing a uh, dry pancake mix or pepper or however you want to season. You don't need much seasoning because you got the pancake mix. And then when you dip it into the mixture, you want to dip it back into the um, the pancake mix. And the reason for that is that the uh, fish is still a little wet. So the next tip I want to tell you about that, when you use the um, uh, fish trying to make sure that they get um, damp, when you're trying to damp your fish, use a paper bag. Just uh, turn open the inside of a paper bag and the paper bag absorbs the water from the fish a lot better, okay? And uh, and uh, another thing I want to say too is that when you're cooking the fish, try to just separate them to keep them apart. Just try to separate them a little bit to try to keep them apart, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get this finished up. 
Okay guys, so we decided to add a little something else with the uh, with the fish. So I've got some grilled shrimp and I've got a little bit of deep fried shrimp as well. But I decided to go ahead and grill some shrimp in here that we um we had available uh, that we was gonna make on another video, but since we was already playing, it was like, hey, let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna get back with you guys and we'll show you the whole outcome when we finish. Alright guys. Here we go, folks. We've got it here for you. And don't forget, guys, to sprinkle a little season all at the end. And remember, if you don't want your coating to be as thick on your uh, fish, you can just tighten it and pull it back a little bit. So we added a little shrimp for you here. And no, we did not have some laying around the house. There was another be another video. But we just went ahead and give you a little surprise anyway. Hush puppies and coleslaw. Oh, yes, it's good. It'll be calling your name. Until next time, guys, much love. Hit that subscribe button. It's all about love, life, and living.